we have Led Zeppelin again today. Yes, and I'm excited. I've loved our Led Zeppelin journey. Yeah, and uh, we're coming to this one, Fool in the Rain, on a request. Yes, from and Nick. And it is not from... Ed Zeppelin. Ed Zeppelin this time. <laughs> yes, no, it's from Nick. It's from Nick. And Nick informed us that, unfortunately, he is battling cancer. And uh, so we would ask all you guys to drop a quick prayer or some good wishes into those comments for Nick. And um, let him know that we are thinking about him and uh, wishing him the best on his journey. Um, And, uh, you know, like I said, hopefully uh, things work out in the best possible way that they can for him. Sending you all of our healing vibes. Yeah. And so we're doing Fool in the Rain And um, this is something that we don't know much about. No, I've never heard of this song before. Except that it is later into their catalog. Yeah. Than some of the other stuff, I believe, that we've done. Yeah, 1979, Uh, right? Yeah. And so we have a little pop quiz question that we like to throw into some of our videos. And uh, Sam, would you like to let me know? It's my official job. Uh, True or false, this song was regularly performed at concerts for them. Do you know that answer? Yes. Drop it in the comments. Drop below. it in the comments and let us know, and we'll give you the factual answer at the end. Anyways, I've really loved Led Zeppelin. Obviously, they are renowned and yes. one of the best-selling groups of all time. But it's been eye-opening to see their diversity in what they can bring to the table. Oh yeah, so many different flavors to their music. It's crazy. So many different styles. Yeah. We never know what to expect. The versatility, obviously, for the musicianship and each member, yes. you know, is speaks for itself. But um the last I think it's really cool too when you see a band or a musician go through a journey and they evolve to new sounds. I feel like there's some groups or people that just always stay in the same lane and Mm -hmm. they just, you know, they don't really ever branch outside of that. Yeah. And then other groups or artists like really take a leap of faith and like try new things and play around with things and you really step into the creative process, which I feel like they really do. Well, it's a fine line, right? Because sometimes you do that and people don't appreciate it. It bites you in the butt. (laughs) And people are like, go back to what you do well. And then you have other groups that, step outside of their comfort zone and produce great music. Another one I would say similar to, well, not in sound, but into that description would be Rolling Stones. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Right? and Lots of different stuff. We see how popular both of them, Led Zeppelin and Rolling Mm -hmm. Stones, it's like legendary status that they've been given because they've decided to be so creative. But anyways, let's stop rambling on. Like I said, thanks so much for that request, Nick. We really appreciate you supporting the channel and hopefully you get some support back in those comments from all our great subscribers. I have no doubt you guys will jump down there. So you ready to get it going? Yeah, let's do it. Let's roll. Yeah, so 
All right, so... That was crazy. That had such like a little Latin feel to Should it. I go and check and make sure this is Led Zeppelin? <laughs> <laughs> it's so different. I think we were foreshadowing in the beginning, into our introduction yeah. when we said Led Zeppelin. It reminded me of like samba or merengue dance music. Like you said, a samba. That's what yeah. it feels like. Also... I'm pretty sure this melody, it sounds so familiar. And I'm pretty sure they used it in Mario Kart. Oh, really? <laughs> like I, it sounds really familiar. You know, the, you remember the Super Nintendo one in the, in the beginning? It's like, dun, 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 dun. Yeah. It's like, it sounds similar to so that. similar. Yeah. The flashback I'm having is um, in the Dirty Dancing movie, there's a scene where there's an instructor that's teaching everybody how to do like samba, merengue kind of dance. Mm-hmm stuff in partners and stuff like in a class and yeah. like this is like the beat of that is like exactly what that sounded like at least from what i remember it's yeah, been a while the image on the screen here that we have i don't know if this is the album cover but yeah um it has like a jazz vibe it does yeah this and like the, i'm saying the almost image. like a club you'd see and like it reminds me of like almost like a like a club in Cuba or something. It reminds me of. Yeah, it just, it has a jazz sound to me a little bit alongside like we, yeah. not when we got into that samba portion but yeah. like throughout and I think particularly the use of the keys and the drums mm-hmm. is what's driving this sound that yeah, we're hearing. Yeah, keys for sure. Also, Robert Plant's vocal, like it doesn't even sound like him. It's so different. It's just so different. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy to me that a band that, you know, has done so many different sounds can continue to have so many different sounds. I mean, I don't know how many songs we're into with Led Zeppelin now. I think we've done, you know, 11, 12 videos yeah. of them. And... Well, I just think like... It's so different every single time. Yeah, I just think of like, you think this, and then think of like, Immigrant Song. Yeah. And then think Stairway to Heaven. Dazed and like, Confused. Yeah, like, but how different even just those three or four. Or, yeah. Crazy. You know, like, this one, I, I haven't heard it, and it's probably there. I just haven't been paying attention to it. But relative to other songs... The electric guitar use is like non-existent. In yeah, it definitely doesn't. Stand in other out ones, in this. we've had Jimmy Page just shredding it. Yeah. Right. In this one, like I said, yep. it's it's you know maybe the drums and the keys, which would stand be out more. you know the Johns. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, anyways, it just blows my mind yeah. you know to hear such a different and diverse sound every single time from yeah. them. Yeah, and they've got the lyric side of it where he's talking about this you know person that he's so in love with and then it almost sounds yeah. like he's like getting stood up or something. Sounds like they're not where they should be. Yeah, yeah. All right, you ready so, to finish it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's roll.
So, what that are your closing thoughts? Because I don't know if you picked that up, but he basically said he was standing on the wrong block. Yeah. He <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he couldn't find her. <laughs> Didn't get his directions down properly. I was like, well, that's why you were waiting in the rain without any luck. It's interesting because like Robert Plant's vocal and in light of that, I almost feel like they were trying to be comedic with it. Yeah. And like have fun. Yeah, it didn't and, sound like sad or anything at well, all. Well, yeah, but I almost feel like he was almost half singing out a key on purpose. Mm. Like it fit in with the mold of the song. Yeah. But we know that Robert Plant's an outstanding singer. Yeah. Right? And yeah. in this one, he seemed like he was... Like not going above and beyond. Singing it? in sorrow in a particular way on purpose. Yeah. Like, I shouldn't say out of key, but it's like not the normal vocal register that Robert Plant comes Sings with. Sings in, yeah. You know? Yeah, and I think sure. it was in light of this different sound that they were bringing. He was bringing a different vocal in light of that. Yeah, like the message of the song or like the vibe of the song that it was supposed to yeah. be. Yeah. I mean, the, like, I didn't get, I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I didn't get, because the whole purpose of the song, like, in the, from lyrically, like, I got that he was, like, in love with this girl, and he was going to meet her, and she wasn't there, and mm -hmm. then it turns out he's on the wrong block, but I never got a vibe of, like, sadness or sorrow from it. No. I got more of, like, a, like, like an upbeat dance. Well, that's what I mean. Like, the closing of the song is, like, like oh. oh, I was just on the wrong street. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, yeah. oh, she hated my guts or anything like she that. She stood it's, me up. Yeah, it's just, yeah. I was just a big idiot. <laughs> like, oops, mistake. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. that was very, very interesting. Yeah, and so different. I don't know. You guys can inform me what the uh, use of the guitar was on that, if there was some kind of modulation that they used, because obviously it was a little bit different than normal. Yeah. Um, I'm also kind of curious to know if there was like an inspiration for this song. Like what, where, what brought them to this, you know, because it is so different. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So I enjoyed it, though. Again, it's always entertaining when you get to uh, Led Zeppelin, right? And mm -hmm. uh, this was no different. So before we go, we got to give them an answer to that pop quiz question that we asked. Yeah. So we asked true or false if this was performed regularly at their concerts. And the answer is false. This actually was never performed live. That's right. Unfortunately. Yeah. They disbanded shortly after. Yeah. This was, I think, their last single in the U.S. that they yeah. released before they disbanded. And I think that was due to uh, a death in the band. So yep. uh, unfortunate, but um, they clearly made a whole lot of music. And I've enjoyed it thus far. So Me hopefully too. you guys have as well in our reaction journey. If you did enjoy this one, make sure you hit the like button. And we'd love to have you on the channel if you want yeah, to subscribe. So uh, if not, if you want to keep it moving, no problems. Hopefully we see you around. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.